We missed Wild Wednesday yesterday because of the governor's news conference on school safety, but better late than never, right? So one animal at the Fort Worth Zoo knows just how to beat the heat this summer. So let's go out to photojournalist Jake Shannon for this week's Wild Wednesday. Russ, Jake Shannon, Wild Wednesday at the Fort Worth Zoo this week. The heat wave is on this week, but that doesn't mean you can't stay cool. Joining me now is Kristen Garrett with the zoo. Kristen, tell me who we have here today. This is Sushi, and she is a herring gull, which is just one, one of many species of gulls. Can we see this uh, gull here in North Texas? Well, you know, you might. Uh, Seagull is a misleading term. They're not actually found only at sea. They can be found inland, but they are definitely found along the coast. Now, Sushi's taking a dip this morning. Where mm -hmm. can guests uh, see her? Uh, she, you can see her right here at our stage. She's part of our outreach uh, department, and she's part of our show. Now, guests can uh, can stay cool this summer here at the zoo. Tell me a little bit about what they can do. Absolutely, we have our splash park. It's called Safari Splash. Um, it's open every day during normal zoo hours. There's water cannons, water slides, all kinds of water activities, and definitely places to keep cool within it. Uh, you can even rent one of our cabanas. So. Just because the heat's out doesn't mean that you can't come down to the zoo. Exactly, and we also have air-conditioned buildings like our Museum of Living Art, our fantastic reptile building. You can go beat the heat in there, too. All right, I appreciate your time. And if you guys want to come down to the Fort Worth Zoo, even though the heat is on, there is plenty of cool things to do as well. And you can check out Sushi.